car lovers will be flocking to the Motor City later this week to check out the North American International Auto Show. But you can get an early look this morning. Automotive expert Mike Caudill joins us this morning to, talk, to check it all out for us. Good morning, Mike. Thank you so much for joining us. Good morning, guys. Thank you for having me on. I can tell you what, it might be negative five outside here in Detroit, <laughs> but it's definitely starting to heat up in here. More than 50 vehicles are going to be debuted over the next two days. And of course, today being Sunday, tomorrow's when all the news kicks off. So I want to give you guys some news really fast. This is being launched. It actually showcased last night in the Detroit Lions Seattle Seahawks wild card game. And it's the all new 2018 Ford F-150. And that F-150 Ford represents 40 years of being America's best selling truck redesigned front end, redesigned rear end, new interior, not to mention a Wi-Fi hotspot on the inside of that vehicle. By the way, if you tow with that vehicle and you want to back up, you just use that little knob. It'll actually back the vehicle up for you, hands off the steering wheel. All right, next vehicle I want to show you. This is, this is actually technology coming out of Ford Motor Company, and it's actually in conjunction with Amazon Alexa. So you know that cool Amazon Echo device you have in your house? Ford is the first automaker to fully integrate Amazon Echo and Alexa into all of their vehicles, and it's available on the 2017 vehicles with Sync 3. So it allows you to start your vehicle from inside your home. It allows you to set the temperature of your vehicle from inside your home. Hey, Alexa, set the temperature in my car to 85 degrees. I want to feel like I'm down in Youngstown, right? So that's it. it has the ability to do that. Um, next thing I want to tell you guys about some cool stuff. Nissan showcasing their safety and auto mobility, and it's a super futuristic play by Nissan. They're aiming for zero emission and zero fatalities in 2017 by introducing what they're calling SAM, which stands for Seamless Autonomous Mobility. Developed in partnership with NASA, it essentially helps the vehicle think faster and allows autonomous vehicles to coexist on the road with human beings. That vehicle you're seeing right there is the Nissan LEAF, which will be showcased on. All right, one of the biggest challenges facing the auto industry today are millennials not buying cars. They just don't have an interest. Well, Chrysler launched their portal concept designed for millennials by millennials. That means any year starting after 1982, uh, qualifies as a, as a millennial. It's a vehicle that will grow with you. So those seats on the interior, you can interchange and intermix those seats any way you want. You can pull them out of the vehicle if you want to make it more of a cargo vehicle, or you can go for the multifamily uh, size vehicle as well as your family grows. Hopefully we'll see that vehicle sometime in the future coming from Chrysler. All right, Hyundai showcasing its all new Ionic autonomous driving concept. Now this vehicle will literally come to market. Now remember those big LiDAR bulbs on the top of the Google vehicles? Well, this one has them integrated into the front and this is an autonomous vehicle simply take your hands off and the vehicle will drive itself it's being showcased and driven in las vegas and south korea right now under real driving conditions all right why am i down on my knee no i'm not rising. i'm showing you good because i'm taking your vehicle to the road <laughs> and that's this right here this is the michelin sport racer 4s tire and it's race inspired it's got a 30,000 mile warranty but this thing will allow you to stop faster and will allow you to maneuver better on the road. I know it sounds crazy, but it really does work like that. You'll see it on Audis, you'll see it on Porsches, and a variety of other vehicles. All right, lots of news here, of course, at the show. Kia showcasing its all-new Telluride. It's a full seven-seater passenger vehicle. Uh, a lot of other stuff. Hey, bring, come with me. I got, I got to show you guys this before I wrap it up. Here we go. All right, so this is the Aishin, and this is a mobility device. It's the smallest vehicle you'll see here at the show. And what's really cool about this vehicle is that it's going to come as part of the Tokyo Olympics, uh, under $2,000. It's fully electric and uh, really cool product here at the show. But this is part of the mo auto mobility uh, program that they have uh, here at the show that actually starts today. So a lot of news, guys. We'll throw it right back over to you. All right, Mike, thank you so much. Lots to talk about there, lots to see. And, of course, we will be bringing you local coverage as well. Make sure you tune in to 21 News. That starts tonight at 6 o'clock. Glenn Stevens will be up in Detroit joining him at the show. We'll bring you live reports both tonight and tomorrow throughout the day as well. So make sure you stay tuned for coverage from Glenn Stevens. Lindsay.